News on the investigation into the Wells Fargo scandal that rocked the banking industry last year when it became public that the company had created millions of fake accounts all in order to illegally rack up fees and help employees meet their sales goals. The government inquiry cost Wells Fargo tens of millions of dollars in fines. It cost the CEO his job. But our own Charlie Gasparino says other banks, they may be caught up in a similar probe and may have a similar fate? What can you well, tell? we should point out that what we understand is that the government has launched a larger probe into every other bank, J.P. Morgan, Citigroup, U.S. Bancorp. Now, that's the bad news. Uh, this, and this, uh, this probe, I, from what I understand, what sources are telling the Fox Business Network, could be wrapped up in the matter of months, maybe about three months. That's the bad news. The good news is they're finding that there is no or very little evidence of the same sort of cross-selling abuses going okay. on at the major banks and these other banks that occurred at Wells. We, as you know, Wells lost its CEO, John Stump. It just fired five senior executives this week, uh, $185 million in fines. Uh, everybody on the street thought that, you know, if Wells is doing it, then JP must be doing it, then U.S. Bancorp must be doing it, then Citigroup was doing it. What we understand from investigators that are doing this investigation is they're finding Scant evidence, it's a widespread crime, as it, or a widespread right, well, crime. Well, that's good news for, for financial investors well, right now. This. These stocks have already been on a tear, so this could have uh, potentially tripped them up. That's, that, was my, that was my next point. Um, if you I read at, your mind, if you, Thank you. If you look at it, I know it's a hard transition from socialism to this. <laughs> very thin, but if you're looking for a reason to buy bank shares, in addition to getting rid of Dodd-Frank, and maybe some of the tax cuts that Donald Trump is looking to impose, and, and particularly a 15% corporate tax rate as opposed to a 35% corporate tax rate. This investigation winding down is a big reason. Because, listen, here's the thing. Federal government, you might be able to you know, steal from the rich and get somewhat away from it and not you know, lose your CEO and maybe not you know, get indicted. But if you go out there and purposely screw average bank customers, which is kind of what was going on, there was sales incentives at Wells Fargo to sell you or your yeah. mother three more checking accounts for no reason and maybe and I remember, not even tell you. you. Know, they, were, they were quite proud of all the new accounts well, that were being opened up. That's and how that they was made, something that that's, that's how yeah, they, they made, measured their success on. My father would say that's how they made their vig. That's how they made their vigory, <laughs> their money in this. Uh, and that, that's helped propel Wells Fargo's earnings to but, massive highs. But I think what's important here is there was concern that it might have been more widespread within the JP, industry as a whole. JP, Citigroup, and, and all those other. you're telling me they're not finding I, I'm going to say this to the average viewer, and, and I don't tell people what to do with their stock portfolio, but if you, from what I understand from inside this investigation, I'm not saying no one could be dinged. They might be dinged. Yeah. They're just not going to, this is not the widespread fraud that we thought it looks like as of right now. All right. So Charlie Wells, is bullish on the finance. Is that a fair statement? I would say this thing makes me more bullish because I'm telling you, when you rip off mom and dad, they throw the book at you. They fire your CEO. That is not a good thing for the stock. You know, here's the thing that I think is, is, is rather interesting. When you think about sort of where we've been as a country right. and during the Obama administration, you know, we were coming out of, of 08 and we were still reeling from that whole crisis. And there was this real anger directed very at consistently banks. at the banks and at the banking industry. Right. And in some ways, that's been redirected, perhaps at the media industry now. Good. But, <laughs> try, but to in other words, try to find me, Donald, and I, I won't pay it. <laughs> but in other words, it, it, it's in some ways, I think this is good. It's healthy in that we need our banks. We need them there lending, uh, lending well, to, to, to everyday mom let's, let's, and, and let's pop folks so let's, that we can, right. we can get this economy. And let's be real clear about what, why did we have a financial crisis that led to a great recession? It's because the banks were impaired. They were imploding. They were going out of business. They were insolvent. To have a healthy banking system is kind of a good thing. To know, to know that your banks are not a bunch of crooks ripping off, you know, grandma. But, but if you were to listen to, to Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren. Why are you listening to them? I, I'm just telling you. We were just talking about Bernie Sanders and yeah. socialism. If you, were, if you were to listen to these guys. Why would anybody listen to them? They're not, fortunately. I think that this is, this is my point. We have turned a corner well, as a country, and you're seeing the health of the financial services sector come back. And, Charlie, that's important we, for our fundamental economic growth. Yeah, and I think what's really important here is that what this investigation is showing, at least right now, listen, they may turn up some treasure. For all I know, WikiLeaks is going to, you know, just dump a bunch of stuff about how everybody was cross-selling. But based on the investigation right now, what this has showed is that, that you know, aberrant behavior is not the norm. Mm -hmm. 
aberrant behavior seems to be. So we can all feel better about human nature, basically. Uh, uh, listen, I am going <laughs> to. Bankers just, aren't as, uh, listen, aren't as I, bad as they sound. I never thought that Jamie Dimon would let this happen in his shop, okay? Now, can I say, he's the CEO of J.P. Morgan, can I say it was definite? You know, no. Is it possible that he has a few bad apples? Yes. But based on my reporting on this thing, it yeah, looks like think, yeah, companies that, like that Jamie Dimon. Yeah, but you know, you the, the run John Stumpf, I wouldn't have thought that John Stumpf would have allowed it. Some people would have. They were very heavy on building this line of business because they couldn't build out other lines of business. And I'm talking about the Wells Fargo CEO. Yeah. Let me ask you about tax cuts, which is another right. big topic today. Um, 15 Twenty percent, something. People, people will take whatever they can get at this point. The question is, how soon is it going to come? Steve Mnuchin's talk in August. Do you think that's? Yeah, I don't think the problem is. Listen, I have a problem with waiting because when you wait, it, I mean, we had a guest on Cavuto earlier today. So when you wait to August, and maybe you have to do it in September, and then it doesn't get done to 2018. And guess what? Then it gets fact. You, you, you don't get the supply side push that you need in the economy and the markets. Here's where it gets tricky. Do they do a 15% tax cut, a 25% tax cut, a 30% corporate tax cut from 30? Because they're 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 basically uh, negotiating with mm -hmm. other spending priorities, including the wall. If they don't do a fairly significant corporate tax cut and some some individual tax cuts, Dow 21,000 is not worth 21,000 this year. I am telling you that the Dow is worth. There's a 17 trillion dollar GDP. Mm -hmm. To, to equate that to Dow 21,000, you have to grow your GDP by about, from what I understand, $3 trillion. You need something like 3% annual growth. The only way you get that right now is through some sort of fiscal stimulus. And if they cut back on the fiscal stimulus, I'm telling you, the market has to trade well, off. You know, I mean, it, I, I, it's, but, just, but it's just here's a matter the thing. of man. I mean, unless they actually cut back. As long as they're stringing the market along and saying it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. No, but what's coming? And there's a but what, but what's tax coming? cut. But what? 20%. Okay, that's good. But suppose they say 30% is coming on the corporate tax rate. Yeah, you know, hey, it, it's still better than 39. Yeah, it doesn't put us in competition with the other. That Hang on, Donald strong. Trump.